it's finally time to do something I haven't done in my entire playthrough, and that's make a proper ore refining base. Because while it's really cool you can just have infinite rocks being generated inside of your base, this will take mining priority, which means you can't have that there and you need to find a place that has a lot of ore rocks. Cool thing is, there's quite a few places that have this and I have one marked on the map and it looks like a designated base building area, so that's even better. Oh man, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Now there's multiple places on the map that are like this, which makes sense for multiplayer, but yeah, we want to get a base set up here and then hopefully we just never have to worry about ingots again. So right here looks like the perfect spot we're going to get that built. Ooh, we also get a nice little bonus chest that's going to respawn here every once in a while. Now I'm going to put a fast travel here, that way we can just kind of load up on the ore and then bring it back to the main base for proper refinement. And maybe we can build this one out a bit more, but I just want to start getting the ore collecting, which really could have been done at any time, even with like the pals that we have loosely. So let's do that as well. Mining level 4 and handiwork on the Astagon, yes. We're also going to want a lot of transportation, so we can look for that, but he's already going to work and breaking the rocks. We can have some Kilimari running around, even though they are only level 2. Oh wow, Warsect is a 3. Also has woodcutting, so it might just take out the trees that naturally grow, and even some planting. That seems really good. Of course, we have to have a dig toys in our mining area. Fuddler as a level 1 mining isn't going to have enough. Uh, that looks pretty significant on the 4 transport from a Wumpo. So we could get a couple of those. Ice Rep Tyro's on 3. So that also means like, yeah, we don't need just an insane amount of mining pals. We can just have a couple that are high level and it's probably just going to be enough depending on the spawning. So then we can have extra transport, but also we need functioning stuff for the base like food production. We can also get a regular Reptyro in here and a Gorirat, so we're just gonna watch this go and be insane. Also, we got our boys out here already helping out, so uh, finding the hitbox on this is kind of tricky, but yeah, it seems like you need to be in the perfect spot to do both. Might need to like set up a different kind of storage at some point, that way it's easier to use, but um... Yeah, in the time it took me to just set up, we're already at 200 ore. I do have increased ore production or like in increased resources on my server settings, but even then it's like just solid and automatically doing great. Now, pals being hungry, not good, which is why we also have to consider like feed and other things. So let's go back to the other base and make it to where this, this base can kind of take care of itself until we get all of that set up. So one thing I was thinking is that we can make an insane amount of jam-filled buns. 100 is fine. We're like super duper positive on berry production. This should just last until we're good to go. All right, so Ragnarok is getting that food cooking. But then I look over here and yeah, we need to shuffle some pals around because Anubis is the goat. I, I should have just caught more Anubis. Also, that means like we have to think about production of more legendary pal spheres and all that crazy stuff. But... Four handiwork, three mining, and then two transport. The goat. Same thing for Verdash. That will get a lot of food production by itself. We also need a watering pal at the other base with that food production. So, still need to find a little bit of balance. But I mean, yeah, just like one Jormantide, and that's going to take care of everything. Or a pal that kind of does watering and double effect. We'll have to piece it together, but I think it's going to come together just fine. Let's give everyone a fluffy bed, so we're going to need to move over some cloth, wood, nails, and fiber. That's fine. I've got a merchant wandering around where I can buy some wool from. Alright, we got a lot of fluffy beds. I also put out three hot springs. I guess I can also put some high quality hot springs. Yeah, that's not difficult at all. It's mostly the cement which is being made back at the regular base. Then I want to see if the system works. So let's get encumbered and then let's fast travel to our base. Yeah, the encumbrance doesn't work. I didn't know like 100%. That also means we're going to need to build something nearby. Hmm, this part of the plan might not be flawless because when you TP in, you TP on the other side of the PAL box, which means you can't have something nearby. However, can we cheese it? There we go. So I think if we just place that there. We can interact with this and then also pick up ore where we spawn in. That's just fine. A little bit of work, but I mean, 
that's that's worth also we already got this much ore in the time it takes to build the base and it hasn't even like started self-sustaining and doing all that crazy stuff also i want to build some technology because we have things that improve mining and whatnot the level four smelting is actually insane wow lads things are getting crazy over at this base also you know i've overlooked a couple of really good pals for this like mosanda it's going to plant it's going to transport it's going to work we will also need gathering for when the berry patches happen so they let works How's Zephyr is good on transferring. I think that's kind of it. Like, transport kind of lacking with all the stuff we got, but we're upping that. And maybe just, like, two Mossanda. So I haven't, like, found the perfect balance or anything. We're just going to make sure we're up and running. That should do it. Run Cherry Aqua with three watering should take care of the three berry patches. Yeah, everything is already planted and watered, so we're just going on the growth. Three berries should be able to keep everyone good. We'll see if that stays positive. And yeah, everything is cleaned out. Definitely overkill on the mining and everything. So there's going to be a lot of idling, which means we could find a balance and kind of set up some different things. But I'm guessing the system is, wor is working pretty well. It's all good to go. Rock respawns, instantly gets destroyed. And then everyone transfers it. And then everything is good to go from there. So yeah, everyone, everyone just kind of like piles in and works. Again, overkill, that's fine. Now all we need to do is find the sweet spot. Boom. Open. 750, 750 in climbing, so we got that. We also need some base resources. Just kind of hold the base down. Not going to use pal metal out here. And now let's teleport back to the base. We grab all that ore. We put all this down over here. Boom, boom. And we are set. So now we got so much production i don't even know what to do with it all could probably also just kind of set up a logging station because we have a lot of logging pals and then you can do the same with coal in the desert but honestly i don't think that's needed even though you need an insane amount of refined ingots you can just kind of fly around the desert get a full inventory by one of the fast travel points and then you just keep bouncing it back and then you can carry multiple inventories also depending on how much coal you're mining just get like thousands of coal by clearing out the desert in one rotation and then you can bring some other pals like Cativa and Lunaris they're going to increase your weight capacity it's so like Jet Dragon and then four weight increasing ones you just do a couple loads of that I think it's fine so you don't need to build an entire base just for coal but the ore production we got it going and we are getting thousands of ore in a short amount of time and we can use that to get whatever we want some people might say, what about getting a Paldium operation going? And you can build a base that's going to be around some of the natural Paldium spawns. But I don't think that's necessary because we have the mill over here, or the grinding wheel. So yeah, we just got a lot of Paldium fragments that way. We have an insane amount of stone. So depending on like how much mining you have set up at, at another base, yeah, you're good. So the Paldium isn't an issue. And then rock core at the main base so you just put like other miners on there you can have like level two level three get more than enough rocks that way everything else should be taken care of pretty well and then this base is doing everything that it needs to do you should make one of these really early like your second base should just be a major mining base it's going to help out over the course of your playthrough also really helpful depending on your settings i don't regret not making one and then again with the coal yeah you just do everything by hand you should be good so now we are set up and we can also see, yeah, berry surplus is active. We also have like a backup storage of food. Who cares if it rots? The berries are going to be just enough for a while, if, if not forever, like berries forever, just on a couple plantations. And now we can come back here whenever we want and get an insane amount of ore. And then while editing this video, I was idle. So we can see, yeah, we're up to almost a thousand ore. So it's going pretty well. And then I was thinking... Do we make this just a mining spot or do we actually end up putting like smelters here? And I think you want the furnaces in this area, mostly because it frees up the other base to just have more production. And that's the same idea. It's where you can put some electric furnace around. You just have the storage right next to it and they can transport the entire ingots instead of just the ore. You can have a really powerful electric pal and that's going to be fine. Also, it just means like setting up the correct sauce of pals. Does the base really only need like three Reptyro and three Anubis to take care of your mining, transport, and fire, and then like a Felaris or two 
just to hold everything down and that's it and now like your mining and smelting is that's all you need for the palace so everything else can be used and again like you look at mossanda what else do you need besides two mossanda and then a watering pal i guess you need some gathering so Valet, really nice calamari has like gathering and transport i think it's actually fine to have like one or two calamari they work at night astagon has a four mining so like one of those yeah like we have we have a good sauce but we don't have the optimal like pal everything and then also the traits really matter depending on them you definitely want work slaves your transport pals being fast so having like speedy passive skills also just kind of makes everything more efficient but for starters i think this is good and then you can just drop off all of your ingots at the other base and then that frees up a lot of space for raw production and crafting and then like putting the extra things you need in this base potentially let's see we just made 170 pal metal ingots how many legendary spears can we craft none because of all our palladium is at the other base but i sent a request to make all of that palladium and we're at 267 so we just need to bring out a water pal all right jormantide might be a little buggy but it makes palladium fragments quick so i'll overlook it and now we don't have legendary sphere problems for a while and then it just kind of like creates a loop to where we can use these legendary spheres to get those pals i was talking about upgrading and yeah we are like in the super duper end game what do we have here we can make 20 more cement that's necessary and also just kind of use our resources as we need charcoal uh we have an insane absolutely bonkers amount of passive wood which means carbon fiber and suddenly it feels like i've beaten the game after just setting up that ore base we will need to do some like refined ingot runs for the coal but i'll explain how to do that then everything is awesome so if you guys enjoy the video hope you all have a nice day thank you very much for watching